Joining us also now to react to the president's Oval Office address to the country tonight, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. Senator Graham, uh, you met around Congress a bit of time, and both in 2006, you were around yeah. when the Secure Fence Act was passed yeah. to build 700 miles of wall, which never happened. In 2013, uh, they allocated $46 billion for border security, $8 billion to build and repair and reinforce barriers <laughs> at the border. Um, and I'm listening to Senator Schumer and Congresswoman Pelosi say this is a manufactured crisis. Would you say that to police officer Singh's family tonight or Pierce Corcoran's uh, mom and dad that were on this program last night or the families of victims of 4,000 homicide families? Would you say this is manufactured? It couldn't be more real to them. Um, this is the most presidential I've seen President Trump. It was compelling and everything he said was true. About 30 percent of the 2,200 miles of border has some form of barrier. There are already walls along the border. We just need to extend those walls where it makes sense. The one thing we have in common as a member of the Senate, Speaker of the House, uh, Minority Leader of the Senate, and President of the United States, we have a bunch of people guarding us with guns. It's pretty hard to get in the Capitol, really hard to get in the White House. All the president is saying is, I'd like to provide more security to the American people. It is a crisis, Sean. I've tried to be reasonable and practicable when it com comes to immigration, and I'm flabbergasted to hear from my Democratic colleagues who have voted for billions of dollars in border security money that this is manufactured. Was it manufactured when Obama wanted the money? No. Why did you give the money to Obama and Bush if it was a manufactured crisis? Well, and I think if you look, Hillary Clinton supported it, Chuck Schumer supported it, Biden supported yeah. it, Obama supported it. Um, we have had in the last two weeks yeah. really high profile incidences. One is Officer Singh, yeah. and the, right. the other is this young man, his parents were on the show last night, Pierce Corcoran, died illegal immigrant, killed him right. in a drunk driving accident. And the question here is when you add to that the human trafficking, the drug trafficking, right. and you add to that the violence at the border, and let's assume 98 percent of people across the border, which I believe are people that want more freedom and opportunity. Right. But we got to ask ourselves, how many lives? <laughs> are, how do you, yeah. if we lose 4000 lives in the two year period, is that a manufactured crisis? To my Democratic friends, how many caravans have to rush the border until you believe we have a problem? We have 300,000 people waiting for asylum claims to be adjudicated. We have 11,000 unaccompanied minors from Central America. It costs us $750 a day to house them. Only God knows what they go through to get here. Uh, illegal immigration is on the rise because our policies are attracting people here. Every Democrat you heard from tonight has voted for border security, but when it comes to Trump, they say no. So Nancy Pelosi says in the shutdown, Donald Trump says secure the border. How about this. Let's secure the border, then end the shutdown. Let me ask you, Senator, it seems to come down to their argument is, and I know it is inconvenient for those furloughed <laughs> yeah. um, employees. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. I acknowledge and I can sympathize with them. I know their checks are going to yeah. be delayed in some cases, and but it's a partial government shutdown. Essential services are up and yeah. running, mm -hmm. and that constitutes what two thirds to 70 percent of the government yeah. stays open. Yeah. Um, and I do want these people that have been furloughed to get back money, et cetera. But the point is, if the president doesn't take the stand here fully, do you right. see any other path that he can use that he will get the money to stop the crimes from happening on our southern border, the drug trafficking, human trafficking, some criminal elements that want to cross over our border? I've been dealing with this since 2006. This is the best chance I've seen to get a deal. The president made a compelling case tonight for more border security. And I think he uh, is right to ask for more money to secure a border. As to the government employees, I'm, so I'm sorry you're in the middle of this mess, but you'll get your back pay. You're going to be fully compensated. Miss Singh is not going to get her husband back. To all those people who have lost loved ones from illegal immigration, your loved ones are not coming back. So I'm bound and determined to see this thing through. There should be a deal where we secure the border, give the president the wall money he needs, and try to fix other problems like TPS reform and maybe do something for the DACA population. There's a deal to be had here, but it's hard to get a deal 
when people you're dealing with call you a racist because you want a border security wall, give you a dollar and say that's enough, accuse Border Patrol agents of gassing children when mobs run uh, toward our border. We're dealing with pretty radical people here, and we're never going to get a deal until the radicals are set to the side and we get reasonable people to deal with. You know, especially considering that it was supported by Democrats in the past, you're making a good point here. If people want to, as we know, abolish ICE, Kamala Harris actually said to the said former that. head of ICE, Tom Holman, suggested that, yeah. well, you know there's a perception that ICE is, at least in people's minds, perceived as the Ku Klux Klan. Um, <laughs> right, right. I, I was pretty stunned <laughs> that we would talk about brave law enforcement yeah. that way. But we also watched these officers get pelted with rocks and bottles. Yes on two occasions during the migrant caravan and on New Year's Eve. Um, the bottom line is this. This is the question I think we need to ask tonight. Will the wall work? In Yuma, Arizona, the sheriff said it works. It works every time it's been tried. Well, it works in Israel. I can tell you, I've been dealing with border security issues for 10 years plus. Every time we build a physical barrier, the drug trafficking goes down, the illegal crossings go down. There are some places you don't need a physical barrier, but there's 700 miles of fencing has been authorized since 2006. We just want to build what we've already agreed to do. And so the bottom line is walls work, but you're dealing with a group of people who see their government as the problem. They see the border patrol agent as the problem, not the mob. They see the ICE agent as the problem, not the illegal immigrant they're trying to go after. They see walls that already exist as amoral, excuse me, immoral. You know what I think is immoral? Is to accuse people of trying to defend the nation honestly and working hard and putting their lives at risk of being the problem and not the coyote, not the drug dealer, not the terrorist. So if Democrats want to fight, they're going to get one. If they want to solve the problem, we'll do that too. It seems if we, and I want to know where your fellow Republican senators stand here, because if the argument of the Democrats is this is a manufactured crisis, well, that goes against right. the number of homicides in right, that right. two-year period and, and sex offenses that have taken place in that two-year period and violent acts against Americans in that two-year period, right. then the drug and the human traffic. The question is here, we're talking about on the one hand, we're going to have some people that work for our government that are inconvenienced. I right. am sympathetic to I'm that. I'm sorry about that. Yes, me but too. But I'm also sympathetic to the parents that were on this program last night. I'm sympathetic to the five-month-old yeah. little boy of a police yeah. officer in California that will never see mm -hmm. his father for the rest of his yeah. life. And I'm sympathetic to the victims of crime. Are your fellow Republicans willing to say life and death is more important than a delayed paycheck and inconvenience. I hope Republicans will remember, like most Democrats, you voted for $25 billion for border security funding in February of 2018. If it was not, if it's a manufactured crisis, Senator Schumer, Speaker Pelosi, why did you vote for a border security package less than a year ago that had $25 billion for border security, including wall money, to my Republican colleagues. This is the best chance we'll ever have to help President Trump get border wall funding, still barrier funding, and at the same time fix the loopholes. The only way we lose is to give in. If we'll stand firm, put deals on the table that make sense, we will win this on behalf of the American people. But if we undercut the president, that's the end of his presidency and the end of our party, and we deserve to be punished if we give in now. In other words, as long as it takes, you believe you and your fellow senators are willing to stay and fight to stop drugs, human trafficking, and criminal activity from the small percentage of people that cross our border because it's unsafe and not secured. Before the end of this week, I intend to put legislation together that has wall funding like the president has requested and argue that we voted for the same thing in the past before he was president. I intend to put legal reforms on the table that we've all voted for. I intend to help the TPS population, about 400,000 people are going to lose their legal status. And I'm willing to entertain uh, uh, legal status for the DREAM Act population that we've all voted for. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take bills we've all voted for and see if they can be voted for under Trump. The problem is not the policy. The problem is that my Democratic friends don't acknowledge that President Trump won. That's the problem. All right, Senator Graham, thank you for being with us tonight.